You know, we live in an age today where people can make comments and hide behind keyboards and fake profiles and criticize other people who are willing to get out and do something that they are not willing to do. Understanding anytime you get on a platform, you know you have to be willing to endure with the, with the mockers and scoffers and the pessimistic believers. This is the reason why I don't visit other people's channels when I get suggested, you know, because uh, everybody has their own opinion. And, uh, you know, you learn the word differently from everybody else. But I always look at it. If you, again, as I said before, a vegan can't go to Burger King <laughs> and complain about the menu because there's nothing vegan on it for them to eat. When you can go right across the street to a place that serves everything you like. But yet you keep showing up to a meat eating restaurant and complaining about the menu ain't what you like or it doesn't serve your appetite. So since 2020, I've been on these platforms doing this and videos, hundreds of videos, as I've just been telling folks in the comment section, it's probably gonna put this video up on both channels. Videos wrapped all around the world different continents people been blessed by the videos at least any man should boast this is not a brag or boast right it's to let you know who you're talking to not some bubble gum popcorn <laughs> bologna and cheese just made up sandwich type do even though i do love a good bologna and cheese sandwich especially if it's grilled put that boy in the skillet with some butter a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder <sighs> Woo. That's a good, that's a good eat. But this is something that I've been doing and been called to do since 2008. All right. Here in Detroit, Ambassadors for Christ Church got ordained for two to three years ministering to men both in the sanctuary and out of the sanctuary, in the streets, going places where fake Christians don't want to go. After all that hollering and screaming, sitting up in the sanctuary, okay, let's take that energy and go out in the street. Everybody sit down. Only a few of us stood up. We're going out to witness. So you can imagine I've seen a lot of people since 2008 lots of people catechism class teach and taught workbooks study books involving the church okay prayer calls bible studies countless 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 bible studies countless in the church and at home over the phone weeks at a time Okay, from the front of the book to the back of the book, just to let you know who you're talking to. Okay, you ain't talking to some wet behind the ears cat. So, when you hear me speaking, it's coming from years of experience. Now, again, you got people who are experienced but haven't been. This is this is the reason why I am the way I am on these videos, and we get into the word, and a lot of people who have not brought been brought up properly in the bible they will argue constantly argue and especially when i'm going word for word verse for verse okay book for book then we get into word search and definition and people still can't get that here's the thing that cracks me up about these folks not everybody i, I understand not everybody makes videos I'm not talking to the people that don't make videos and who don't argue the points and don't come off condescending because everybody's not going to do it. But this video is for those. Streets want to put it up on both channels because 
They, these folks are on both channels. And then when you go to these people's profiles, you got so much to say, right? But where is the fruit in your basket? This is my point of the video. If you wanna be critical of people whose channels you visit and you wanna say they're wrong and you're right, well, where are your videos and you're using the scripture such as what we're doing to prove the point, but yet when we get to your profile, there's no meat. The refrigerator is empty, ain't nothing in it. Ain't even an ice cube in that boy. But yet you're critical of another person's teaching and studying in the Bible. We're not referring to other people's videos when I'm reading, we're referring to what the Holy Spirit is saying in the chapters and verses. But then you get these people out here who are contrary by their personality and their spirit. You're wrong and they're right. And this is the reason why they're right. But then, you know, I, I guess people forgot that, you know, when you're on another person's page, your profile is public. So, when I want to see a person's profile, I said, this person's talking awfully goobly gop. I wonder if they got any videos. Then when I get over there to this person's channels that's being contentious, and I'm reading the scripture by the verse, period, by punctuation, and then I get to this person's channel, and I see how long they've been on YouTube. You could be on YouTube one month but you ain't got not one video, but yet these are the same people who are critical, want to kick over your basket of fruit. But yet they've produced nothing of their own. So how can I take you serious when you don't even have a rebuttal video or a teaching of something that you've already taught that would back up what you are talking about, but you got nothing but dust. So, Again, why would I want to take what you're arguing about serious if you can't even show that you are teaching and making an attempt to teach? Jeremiah 1 and 5, I already ordained you. I already set you apart to be a priest unto the Most High and to preach unto the uttermost parts of the earth. But yet we have people who live in glass houses throwing big boulders, right? And you wanna constantly go back and forth, but yet you've got no teachings of your own. And again, I'm not saying it's the back to, 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 to brag and boast, folks. I'm not a rookie here. You ain't talking to, you ain't listening to some dude, okay? Who just pulled his clothes out the dryer and they still wet. This is something that I have a love and a passion to do on my own, called by the Spirit, ordained in the 501c3. When I found out it was crooked and nasty, I got up out of it. I don't need that to do what God has already called me to do in Jeremiah 1 and 5. Anytime I can fill up a sanctuary full of men and the pastor of the church is mad because all he can pull in is women. But I'm bringing in brohams from other churches around Detroit. And they didn't went by word of mouth, Holy Spirit, led and fed. They didn't brought other men into the church. And here we are at eight o'clock in the morning and I got a whole sanctuary and a 500 seater, okay? Church is mid-sized to small church, nice-sized church. Not a not a big goobly got church where it's 2,000 people. But there's more men in the Sunday morning class than there is during the Sunday morning service. And the pastor didn't like that. Channels are not monetized. So that means I'm doing this of my own free will. Who else, I, and again, Holy Spirit, I, this is not a brag or a boast, okay? How many other people are you watching on YouTube? You understand? I'm trying to tell you where the passion comes from. I'm trying to tell you where the willing vessel comes from and what it means. I'm on 12 hours a day. I get five breaks a day. 
I come out here to the car and when I'm not at home, I come out here and drop video. I've dropped hundreds of videos, thousands of videos in my phone for free, no monetization, okay? Because a willing and obedient servant is willing to do that and willing to get in front of the camera and know that he or she is going to have to deal with little devils in the comment section masquerading as saints but here you have a person and it's other folks that is willing in between his work schedule and her work schedule because i'm not the only one but this is the unappreciative part about it. this is really this is really what gets you gets you kind of sparked up people who hide behind these keyboards here you have folk who are willing to take time out of a 12 hour work schedule to be obedient to the Holy Spirit, led and fed, and jump in the book and help people all over the world. Because this is what Christ said we were supposed to do. You shall do greater works than what he could do. Because we have the, the, we have the ability to use the internet as a tool to reach people all over on different continents. And then we get a couple knuckleheads to get in here who don't appreciate that and they're smarter than you. But yet these same people who are smarter than you have fake profiles <laughs> and no videos, no teachings of their own so I can see how serious this person is. And when you get on these certain topics, which we've been on, talking about how people are saved and we're talking about this and, and 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 these once saved always saved folks Ooh, they've been coming out since these fish i've been putting these videos on both, both channels mad it's it's called not accepting responsibility it's sins of omission and commission these people think they can live for the world and don't have to repent and still get into heaven how can a person be saved and be filled with holy spirit and be so dogmatic about negativity and the church being brutalized and killed and not being rescued and yet these people call themselves saved and filled with holy spirit how is that how how, how is a person filled with holy spirit but yet be so negative against the body of christ his own so-called fellow servants and say that nobody's going anywhere to me spiritually it just feels like the devil talking am i talking to the devil here for you to say that the book is a fairy tale i asked one person he said that's demonic teaching so i said okay so as first thessalonians 4 16 17 was that written by satan uh is corinthians first corinthians 15 50 through 55 is that written by satan too is revelation 4 and 5 was that written by satan too if you say that the harvest is the is a demonic teaching these are the yo-yos that like to pop up every once in a while and this is what you know you have to deal with when you are willing to put yourself on camera and read from the word of god it's like pouring, it's like pouring a, a, a tick shampoo on a dog. They start jumping, boy, they start jumping. See them ticks start jumping off of them because it's trigger words for them. But yet they know more than you. But if you know more than the person that's bringing the message and then when we go to your profile, it's empty. Nothing there, nada. So how are we supposed to take you serious? That's why I call folks, that's why I call these jokers CIA agents in the comment section. How dare <laughs> you go against a person that it, and people, men and women, there's other brothers and sisters out here, but why would you take waste your time going against a person who is doing what the Bible says and that's reading the word of God being an inspiration to other folks and doing what God said to do. He said, walk in good works, but yet these folks don't want to walk in good works. Folks got to be careful about what, because James chapter three is clear about that tongue. 
It can be a blessing or a curse. And at the end of the day, if you're going against a willing vessel of God, and you and you putting your bad mouth tongue, that stank tongue on somebody that is doing something out of their own free will and being obedient to the Holy Spirit, and you got something negative to say, that's a price that you're going to have to pay for, and you're going to have to answer to. Okay, you're going to have to answer to. And when you stand before the Most High, and He asks you, "Why were you going against?" Saul, Saul, why were you persecuting me? What you going to have an answer for? Especially, this is the biggest part for me at all, at, above, and above and beyond anything. Especially when you haven't produced any fruit of your own. Well, I don't go online, but you go online and run your mouth and talk crazy. But if you are supposedly right more than the speaker who is bringing the message, where is your video messages at? And you've been on YouTube how long? I don't care if you've been on YouTube three, four days or a week. You ain't got no videos, but yet you are steadily throwing daggers and darts at a person who has taken time out of their own schedule to bring God's people. Because you ain't none of my people. We all want people under the most high, but some of us are just willing to be that vessel. You gotta stop trying to throw sugar down other people's gas tanks when you have no huspa of your own. You can throw rocks, bricks, and stones and, and, and be critical, but you're not willing to get out here yourself and do what that person is doing who you being critical of and you always got some excuse these are the people that these are the ain't people not the saints people but the ain't people that's just a little house cleaning for today it's my probably my last video i'm better to get out here and go to, and go home out in, in about an hour or so i'm gonna put this video up on both channels because we got idiots on both channels in the comment section i got no problem saying that because there is no respect, no honor with folks today. Okay. Anytime something goes against what they believe, that's the reason why, when, again, when people say, you go check this person, I don't go to these channels. Because they say something I don't agree with, Holy Spirit in me, I'm not getting ready to get in their comment section and be in, and, and, and work discord. That's not something I'm going to have to, I'm, I'm going to stand in front of God and do when I got my own platform to speak. I'm not going to get on somebody else's platform and badmouth their good work. Because what God has for them to do, that's for what them, that's for them to do. If you got a if you got a tongue and a mouth and you were brave enough, get on video and start making your own teachings, your own videos. That's the thing I don't understand about some folks. Why waste your time? Because the menu over here at this steakhouse ain't going to change. It's going to remain the same. Knife, fork, A1. Now, if you like eating Gerber food, then continue to do that. But it ain't changing what I'm doing over here. Holy Spirit, led and fed.